Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Yesterday, Apple presented everyone with two new phones, one of which is the highly anticipated and rumored iPhone 5S. Coming in three color options, you can select from space gray, gold, and silver. Incorporated in this design is a fingerprint reader, which will allow you to quickly unlock your device or purchase apps. For those concerned about privacy, your fingerprint will not be stored on Apple servers or even iCloud for that matter. This feature of the 5S was achieved with a stainless steel ring that surrounds a button which detects your finger and wakes the sensor. Unlocking your iPhone is now even more effortless and secure with the ability to set more than one fingerprint that can be read at just about any angle on your device with the 360 degree readability. Inside the device is an A7 chip and an M7 coprocessor which is designed to make your iPhone even more efficient as it offloads work from the A7 chip by collecting motion data from the accelerometer, gyroscope, and compass. This will allow apps to use this data without constantly engaging the A7 chip. The A7 chip is up to two times faster than the previous A6 chip and will be noticed even more when gaming or using autofocus within the camera app or even with simply taking a photo. The M7 coprocessor is in place to help conserve your battery by removing some of the strain on the A7 chip. So to me, in short, the M7 coprocessor to the A7 chip is what I consider Robin to Batman. The camera on the 5S has a larger sensor, larger pixels, and a larger aperture with features such as continuous burst mode, true tone flash, and photo filters built all within the camera app. With an 8 megapixel rear facing camera and a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera, photos are crisp, clear, and bright. Accompanied by dual tone LED flash, pictures are more accurate even when in low light situations. Battery life has also increased in comparison to the iPhone's 225 hours of standby mode versus the 250 hours offered on the 5S. Alongside that, you can achieve 10 hours of LTE browsing, videos, and talk time over 3G. LTE service reception also has been improved with up to 13 LTE bands found within the device. Maintaining the design of the iPhone 5, the 5S will weigh in at 3.95 ounces with a depth of 7.6 millimeters and a width of 2.32 inches, which means it will not be bigger or heavier than the 5. The resolution is comparable as well with an 1136 by 640 pixel resolution at 326 ppi. You can purchase these phones on contract with AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon for $199 for the 16GB model, $229 for the 32GB model, and $399 for the 64GB model. Apple also created cases for the 5S to personalize it just a bit more with six color options for people to choose from. The cases are built from hand-selected leather and each one looks luxurious while still maintaining the iPhone's ultra-slim profile. Priced at $39, I think it's definitely worth looking into. Overall, the 5S is a slight upgrade to the iPhone 5, presenting a few new features to its users alongside a faster processor to help you enjoy them. The design, size, and screen resolution remain the same with adjustments made only inside of the device aside from the new fingerprint reader, which I am eager to see how it works in person. Between the two newly announced phones, this one appealed to me more and I am looking into purchasing one on its release date of September 20th. Pre-orders will not be offered for the iPhone 5S, so get ready for the rush for all of you who are looking into purchasing one of these as well. Which brings me to my next point. What are your thoughts on the 5S? Were you disappointed or satisfied with what Apple has presented and do you plan on purchasing one? If so, what color would you get? Now I'd like to hear from all of you down below in the comment section to gain a better idea of how you feel about this new 5S. And while you're down there, please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel and I'm very appreciative of the support. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.